Welcome to day 16 of my 365 day vlogging experiment where I am documenting my business journey. Today is a very special day. I am making a promise to myself. I'm putting it out there. No more complaining. No more pity parties. I know this. I know that this is important. Seeing what I have recorded over the past two weeks, watching myself complain slash say that it's an observation. I'm over it, I'm done, I'm not doing it anymore. Yesterday was the last day that I'm doing it. Today is a new day. From here on out, we do not complain. We get stuff done and we move forward. I started today in a much better place and I know that it's all mindset. You know, my mentor, Gary Vaynerchuk, always talks about being self-aware and the power of your mindset. And I'm self-aware of my strengths and weaknesses. And the problem is that I, I dwell on my weaknesses when I should just be going all in on my strengths. And I ignore the big and little wins and I highlight the things that take me so long and the things that I struggle with. And I don't want to do that anymore. And as far as mindset, Really, when it comes down to it, it's about gratitude. I have so much to be grateful for. And seeing some of the best vlogs that I have filmed, I'm like, girl, stop. <laughs> you have so much to be grateful for. Just shut up, put your head down, and work. And stop crying about how long it's taking you to do things. You are choosing to be here. I am, I am choosing to pursue these things. I am choosing to be a fitness instructor. I'm choosing to vlog, which is taking time from my day. I'm choosing to have a side hustle. I am choosing to start a non-traditional photography business. I am choosing to have a lifestyle blog so that I can grow my personal brand. I'm not being forced to do these things. So I need to just own it and be grateful that I even have the opportunity to pursue these things. I could very well go get a regular job and not have to worry about producing content and not have to worry about anything really just you show up you get your job done you get your paycheck and you live your life that actually sounds amazing and it is great because I did that before and it's awesome and steady consistent and it's great but that's just simply not what I want to do the things that I want to pursue are the things that I want to pursue and I'm and I have the opportunity to do that right now first of all I live in Hawaii and we found this amazing studio space I don't care if it needs to be redone. This is disgusting, it's a mess, I know that. But the fact that I even have the opportunity to redo it, I'm telling you, I just need to focus on being grateful, on gratitude. And even though that seems like it doesn't have too much to do with business and my business journey, I feel it does, at least for me it does, because if my mindset is messed up and focused on like, oh no, it took me so long to do this, and oh no, I suck at this, and da da da, and all these things, I'm never gonna get anywhere with business. That's what I've been doing for many, many years. I have focused on my weaknesses and I have not allowed myself to thrive. I've been working on this over time, putting in some hardcore effort to shift my mindset, but I still have, you know, days like yesterday and days like what you've seen in the past vlogs where I still need to do work and shift my perspective. Driving home from my yoga class this morning and after talking to the husband last night and just really sitting with my thoughts, thinking about my priorities, my choices, my options. It's really quite simple. I'm gonna focus on gratitude. I'm going to keep documenting this because, oh my gosh, after yesterday's vlog and then today is this one where I'm like, yay, it's really different. But I think that that's just how the journey of business and entrepreneurship and the creative journey is. It's up and down. I prefer obviously more ups than downs, but sometimes it's just not that linear and I am truly, truly learning how to love the journey and how to love being in that process. The process of anything seems forever long to me, but this is me trying to love the process. How? By focusing on gratitude, by focusing on what I'm grateful for, by focusing on the fact that I am choosing to do these things. I am choosing to pursue an unconventional path and I am okay with that. I love that actually and I'm proud of myself for that. And besides getting a regular job and doing things that way, I could also start a business that is much easier to start in the sense that it's ABC, you do this, this, that, you sell this, you get money, you earn income, there's a business. I also choose not to do business that way. I want to do things, I guess, the hard way, the long-term way, the marathon way, not the sprinting way. And so I just need to own that. I need to own that and when I have you know, bad days, which are just days where my focus is off, is really all it is, I need to just remember this. So, 
before I keep going, that is where I'm at today. From here on out, I want to focus on those things. And obviously still keep documenting the stuff that's hard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat things or, or try to hide the, the hard part of this journey, but I do want to make sure that my mindset is in the right place, which is another reason why I'm so happy that I'm documenting this and that I'm vlogging this. Anyway, so thank you for being here. Welcome to day 16. Today is going to be a majorly productive day, and you know what? Even if it's not, it's still gonna be a good day. It's a beautiful day today, check it out. Nobody you've ever met got there without the hard work. You should be putting out content on a very regular basis. Don't go fancy. Document versus create. You're the producer, my man. Can I just say that Will Smith on Instagram and YouTube is one of my favorite things ever. And I seriously want to add a favorites of the week to my lifestyle blog so that I can talk about things like this. And I'm just fascinated with how these trends happen on social media. I'm just fascinated with the entire culture and the form of communication and I love it so much. I'm so excited to be living in these times where we have things like this. I mean, it's silly but it's, it's quite fascinating. I mean, it's part of our culture <laughs> and it's just how things happen online now. So I found a folder on my computer of different blog posts I had started for my lifestyle blog. I mean like entire series that I had started last year and the year before that that literally never got posted. They have just been on my computer because they're not perfect and because I have no like overall plan for them. And so I was reading a few of the posts of a few of the things that I wrote and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna post something today, right now. So I posted something on my lifestyle blog for the first time in a long time that has nothing to do with this vlog. So that's progress, right? Not really like a big win or anything, but I just wanted to put that on here because I'm proud of myself for posting something that's probably not perfect. Everything has gone, he has clearly had such a long, long productive day. This will be my last check-in for today. It's been a fantastic day. I started my day really good with a really good, positive, upbeat attitude and trying to change my mindset. So today I worked on organizing the content that I'm going to be creating for my lifestyle brand in terms of blog categories and videos that I want to produce. And I had already worked on that a little bit last week or the week before that, I don't remember. But I'm getting even more clear on what I want to write about, what type of videos I want to make, what I want to produce, what I want to put out there. There's a lot of helpful content out there that's like how-to content or other, I can't think of anything right now, but I know that there's a lot of other content out there that is helpful in its information. And I do want to provide helpful inf information to my viewers, especially in like the wellness and, and plant-based sectors. But before I get into like, hey, I'm an expert, this is what you should do, I really want to take the time to build that connection with my audience and that's why I'm focusing on some of my categories being about like telling my story and talking about my journey a lot which again comes naturally to me because I have that storytelling core inside of me that documenting core which is no wonder why I'm vlogging daily vlogging my business journey that's what I'm working on today so far so good he is not very happy because I'm making him sit next to me while I finish this video and this is his nap time so he already did his play time he got tired he's ready to nap but I'm like nope you're gonna have to sit here and watch me film not right and in the evening, I'll be practicing my sculpt playlist again because I teach tomorrow. And after yesterday's class, there's a few things that I want to change in the playlist and with the workout. And even my day with this guy has been better. He was really, really intense and bad yesterday. And I really think that has a lot to do with my energy yesterday. And so today has been just so much better all around with the things that I can control. And the things that I can't control, well, they're gonna be there and I can control how I react to them. So with that in mind, thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow.